Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. Everybody, guys, another episode of our Pokemon a Blaze Black Nuzlocke Hardcore Let's Play thing that we're doing. Show some love, guys. Hit that like button down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. If you missed the last one, we just took on Elisa and the Electric Type Gym. And I'm working my way out, and we're going to be heading to. Uh, I think it's Drift Fail actually is up next, and the ground type gym leader clay so we're gonna keep this hype going uh like i said like the video if you guys are enjoying subscribe big shout outs to all the plus members shout outs to all the homies who have been holding it down of course and our level cap right now is 38 which is for a battle on route 5. i've got a couple little things i'm gonna tidy up before i get there i'm gonna heal up the squad i'm gonna head to the previous route like over to the right i think we could do that maybe there's some trainers grab a few captures maybe lost lauren forest um, and then I'm gonna head over to Route 5 although I may have to be a little careful because I don't want to go over the level cap of 38 right now But I'll kind of see how everything plays out We'll grab some eggs some encounters and just have some fun today. Oh, I should mention team Shani just had a new merch drop Head over to team and check them out the new starters, baby I know you guys yeah see like dust clubs can't even level right now the new starters, baby check them out You don't want to miss them Seriously, they're phenomenal and right now we have the code code Arceus to get 15% off uh, if you pick up three shirts or more. So grab all three, or you grab it in a hoodie or whatever makes you happy. Go check them out, teamshani.com. So I, th I think I can go this way and catch some Pokemon. So let's do that and uh, I'll keep you guys posted on what goes down. All right, so this is my Route 116 encounter here and it's an Electric, so I'm gonna grab this little dude and we're gonna swap it for an egg in a little bit and get this party started off in the right way. And we got it. Easy. And now we're in Lost Lauren Forest, which is another encounter. And let's see what that's gonna be. It's a Shelmet. Cool. Well, level 26, same deal. You know what I mean? We're gonna catch this thing. And uh, we get two eggs to start the day. So it could be a good Monday for me. You guys obviously see this on Tuesday, but hoping for a good Monday today. I wanna get some fancy eggs. And we got it. Nice. You know, there are people in the world with many different values. Some people enjoy things you might not think are fun. Having a lot of different values in the world makes it a richer place. That's what I think anyway. I really enjoy traveling around the world and talking with different people, but the woman who lives here seems to think living quietly by herself is important. I don't actually remember this. I remember normally you get uh, Zoroark here. Oh, maybe this is Zoroark and that's the whole thing about it. Is she Zoroark? I honestly don't remember. Okay, so you guys already know we got 136 eggs to rock with here and I get to pick two homies to swap. So let's get our first one. It's going to be 21. So kind of an early number, 21. Let's see, that's gonna be our first box. Um, so give me some, give me a second here. Okay, so it's this thing, and it's named Facade, right? 6, 12, 18, 19, 20, 21. This thing's name is Facade, so we're gonna grab it and swap it with you. And let's hatch it and find out what it's gonna be. All right, let's see what it is. It has a flying gem. So I have no idea why it would have a flying gem and be named Facade. Um, I think Heracross when I think of Facade because of like its ability guts. Archeops! Okay! I, I actually don't even know if that's Shiny by the way. Um, I know what Shiny Archon looks like. I think it is Shiny. It's got like the green. It doesn't sparkle when it gets sent out of the egg. That's like a newer thing. So it's named Facade. Something tells me this thing. Well, one, Archeops is kind of a beast because it's not going to have Defeatus, presumably, right? So we're hoping that this thing is busted. Acrobatics Flying Gem, maybe? Volt Absorb! Restores HP if hit by Electric Move. It's a good nature. Fire Punch, Rock Slide, Air Slash, Roost. Not bad! Like, this isn't, like, busted. And it's got a Gift Ribbon. For the world championships. <laughs> Do any of the other Pokemon I have have ribbons? I don't even think I've checked. Um, okay, this is actually a solid mod though. Like, it's not bad. It's not like busted, right? Like this is like right middle in the line. It's got a good ability that protects it from electric moves. Without defeatus, this thing is gonna be very strong. Like if you throw huge power on this thing, it's actually stupid busted, but pretty solid actually. I like it. All right, egg number two is 33. So 31, 32, 33, and it's named Weston Esme. Oh boy, I gotta write that one down. <laughs> I gotta get a notepad. Weston Esme, Weston Esme, with leftovers. Weston Esme. Okay, well let's see what this thing is gonna be. All right, Weston Esme, what do you got for me? Weston Esme, interesting. I think of Renesme from like Twilight, the Twilight movies. Leftovers, I feel like it's gonna be good. 
I'm a believer. Oh my god! How do you say that that's okay? Oh man, we have now reached the part of the let's play when we are uh, we have we have gotten we have gotten the uh, the busted stuff as if it hasn't already happened yet. Something tells me this thing is just gonna be nuts. Uh, Weston Esme, you are about to just be on another level, aren't you, buddy? Let's find out. Adamant nature, leftovers, victory star, boosts the accuracy of itself and its allies, which gives it boosted accurate dragon rush, shadow force, hydro pump, foul play. Not as busted as I would have thought, actually. Not as busted as I would have thought. Like, listen, it's a Giratina, don't get me wrong. It's still gonna be really strong, but it's not, it's not like actually stupid insane, right? It's really good, but it's not stupid insane. Wait, why is there a Spinda here? Oh, I caught that at some point. I'm like, what is that Spinda doing? I thought it was Shiny for a second. Okay, and this is Shiny Archeops, by the way, it was. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick to the team that I have, right, for now, because I like the team that I have, but very cool stuff. So if Pokemon go down, and I think that they might at some point, then we have some really good Pokemon in our box now. And there is Charon. Hey, drive, stop, you got the Bolt Badge? I got a Bolt Badge, let's see who's stronger, me or you. And this is our level cap of 38, which I didn't really kind of get to, uh, cause I didn't know when I was gonna face him. Um, so we're a little under, but I think we'll be okay either way. He's gonna lead things off with a Staraptor. So there's that. Um, I think I just stay in with Durant. Like we're the same level. I feel like I could just, he doesn't even have Intimidate. So I think I just Rock Slide, honestly. I missed. He's gonna Aerial Ace. Okay, I should be able to take one. Yeah, that was, if that was, actually being close combat, so he probably KOs. I think I still just rock slide though. I don't really have a, it's not like I have a ton of switches. Like if he goes for a double edge, he does a ton to whatever. Wow, that did nothing. He whirlwinds me out. Why did that do nothing? Into dust bops. Okay, I can't actually hit him, but I can burn him. So I get moody, which is attack boost. Defense drop, yeah, I can't stay in. Um. I mean, I can, but I mean, he's not gonna one-shot me. Let's just Willow. Uh, he whirlwinds and I missed. Yeah, he whirlwinds me out again. And I go into, oh yeah, that's fine. I'm still a little nervous about a close combat here, but I'm faster because he just keeps whirlwinding me. So I'll just smack down and finish him off. Probably should have crunched in hindsight, but that's okay. All right, what else? Here comes Superior. Now I definitely have to switch. What's my superior answer? Probably Rainbow, right? Although he could be contrary. Icy Wind might not actually be a good play now that I think about it. Maybe he didn't just make a good switch. He's Leaf Storm, I'm in trouble. He's Slam, okay, he'll keep me into a normal type. I wanna go for Icy Wind, but I feel like he is contrary. And I'm just gonna like boost him up. So let's just try attack. He coils, oh boy. Um. I've seen two of his attacks so far. You know what, I think I actually try to burn him. I think I, uh, that did a good amount though. Let's just try attack again. That's all I see, we do. he slams again, it doesn't do anything. I think I go dust bobs and burn him if I don't get a status here with this. Is that three a KO? Well now it's not, cause he got a berry. Yeah, let's split this smart, let's go dust bobs, let's just burn him with Willow and hopefully I don't miss. Like he's gonna, he actually leap blades, uh, he's plus one. Yeah, Dust Bobs eats that though and gets a defense boost. We're chilling. We're chilling. Let's just burn him and then call it a day. He has Dragon Breath too, so he's mixed. No para? He gets the para. And I'm just having a really unlucky battle so far, is what this comes down to. Um, he's gonna Leaf Blade. I just got a defense drop. But he does nothing to me. And I do get a Willow off, which is finally a thing. Okay, I think we're chilling. Um, I get another defense boost. I get a def attack drop. Yeah, I just Nightshade. He coils again, but we'll finish him off here with the uh, the Nightshade. Plus burn, eh, pretty close. He might heal. I get a special attack boost, a face drop. I'll just Nightshade again. He's just gonna go down to burn, so it's fine. I should have recovered, but that's fine. Okay, so we got through his ace, which was his superior. And let's see what else he's got. A Gigalith, that's actually pretty scary. I think I'm just gonna Willow. Smackdown, I should live no matter what. Yep, he can't touch me. Dude, Dust Bobs is actually broken. I feel like now that I've had him for a little while, Dust Bobs is the best Pokemon on the team. 
it was so funny because at the beginning he was not that good but you guys saw it against shady right in the cage lock like he was so strong that the moody was so strong but it's even better on a dust clops than it is on a dust noir uh because of how much bulkier it is like moody is a really good ability um obviously it was banned and competitive for a super long time but yeah it's actually really really strong we're gonna get a nice scald off he's obviously burned i don't think he can do anything to me okay the dust pop show continues here comes a simi pour i think i honestly just call mine and then just uh aura sphere things fury swipes it's kind of annoying but not a big deal and then i just aura sphere everything i would like to get a different move outside of scald i feel like if i had try attack aura sphere we'd actually be better off than scald it's good but i feel like there has been times where it hasn't been as good okay alakazam actually kind of annoying um what does he do to casey though coming out and just going for a crunch i think casey comes in unless he focus blasts he just reflects but he still goes down to crunch he goes for gravity i don't even know what gravity does and crunch finishes off alakazam yeah we're good we're good casey it's 38 Shen John 37 and we beat Sharon. So our level cap now moves to 44, which is clay. Oh, we're friends. Yes, we are. Sort of. Oh, she's gonna open up the uh, gate. And there's my boy Alter. Alter's like the bug champion, by the way. He doesn't, he's not totally a bug type champion, but he does have three bugs on his team. So he's the Unova Regions champion. Champion, why would the champion be goofing off in a place like this? I heard that remark. You're quite judgmental, young person, are you not? My name is Alder. I'm the Unova Pokemon League champion. I'm not goofing off. I'm on a voyage. I know every corner of Unova. I'm Charon from Nuvema Town. My goal is to, as a trainer, is to become the champion. Traveling with a goal in mind is a commendable thing. What do you plan to do after becoming the champion? Uh, what else is there to do to striving to become stronger? The strongest trainer, that's the champion. Becoming stronger, you say. Is that enough uh, of a goal? I'm not that I'm trying to say your way of thinking is wrong. In my travels, I've learned many people learn to love Pokemon. I think that's important too. If you play with those children, you might gain more of an understanding. Well, you have a Pokemon battle with those too. Here you two, come here for a moment. Aw, these little kids are about to just get bodied. He heals me up, which is nice. He really he really says to these little kids, you should battle. And they just send out their little Lunatone and Solrock. Very underleveled. My durable ant is gonna destroy their souls. I'm just gonna iron head the Lunatone, because that's the more specially oriented one. And he just gets wrecked. How are you gonna do that to these kids? Oh, he did have close combat! Wow, I was right. I was right. I was actually right. Yeah, it was a good thing I switched because Actually, I I actually I think I would have lived a close combat with Flick, but if he went aerial ace into close combat, I might have actually had a had a problem there. So would have been close but let's roll the drawbridge is just ahead so we get to go open up the drawbridge here open sesame this way i do get an encounter on this route too so let's open it up hello everybody open the drawbridge and here it comes dun, dun, dun. that's a really big drawbridge though boom i have a tv gig so good luck on the next gym which is clay of course so I do have an encounter on this route and I want to uh, grab all the items and stuff. So let's do all that. Ooh, Volt Switch, nice. All right, encounters this Gulpin. So I'll just do what I always do and I'll Nightshade it and then Great Ball it. And we caught it. Ooh, Black Glasses, I'll take those. I need to go buy Repels. Uh, I'm actually gonna go do that because I feel like in this game, I don't need encounters outside of like just the captures. So I need Repels. <laughs> I can also hatch this egg too, so let's do that. All right, magical jaunt number generator! 78 is the number, 78. Let's see here, that's uh, 60, 66, 72, 73, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 78, Zihar with the black sludge. Fitting that I'm getting a poison type for it, Zihar. Zare, Zehar, I don't know how to say it. Let's find out what it's gonna be. Maybe give me something fancy. Black Sludge, it's gonna be a poison type. Uh, Swalot, Swalot is my guess. It's gonna be Swalot over Gulpin. Shiny Scolipede. Zehar, the Shiny Scolipede. I almost forgot its name for a second. My brain 
actually drew a blank for a second. But we got Zahar. Zayer? Zahar. I'm gonna call him Zahar. I don't know if that's how you say it. But we got a Scolipede, and I feel like... I mean, obviously, Speed Boost Scolipede's good. I feel like this one's gonna be... It's pure power. That's my guess. Speed Boost. Oh, it is Speed Boost. It's a standard Scolipede. There's nothing nothing illegal about it. It's just good. Megahorn, Poison Jab, Earthquake, X's are just good. That's just a good all-around guy. I don't know, man. We I guess, I guess, like, people sent legit, like, not super busted eggs. I just got all the good stuff out the game. I mean, don't get me wrong. I got a Giratina and an Archeops today. But, you know, in terms of like combinations, that's, that's, a, that's a legal Pokemon, more or less. Let me get those repels, let's press onward here. Okay, so I think this is the bridge where I get an encounter. There it is. Oh, I got a wing. Okay, but I do get an encounter here. I get the ducklet, so we gotta find one. There we go, there's our encounter. It's a Swablu! I actually didn't know you can get Swablu here. Um, I always thought it was just uh, Swana and ducklets, but that's pretty sweet. So there's another encounter for us on the bridge. And now we're starting to kind of store up a box, which is good, because you just never know when you're gonna, oh, it's a normal type, I can't do that. All right, I'll uh, willow it and then kind of chip it down that way, I guess. Or I'll just throw a great ball at it, because I'm lazy. And here we are in Dripvale City. Well, they call it the Charizard Bridge. Okay, okay. Yo, Charon and Clay. So you're a trainer, as Elisa was talking about, huh? I'm Clay, I'm the gym leader around these parts. Don't be expecting no welcome now, because when we lowered that bridge, the Team Blasma guys we caught done escaped in all the ruckish. What a bother. We're grateful that you lowered the bridge, but how is that our fault that they escaped? You can say whatever you want, but what's important is y'all showed up, and then Team Plasma escaped. Maybe it's a little heavy-handed, but y'all to start looking for Team Plasma too. You're both talented trainers, aren't you? Thanks, Clay. Tell you what, if you find Team Plasma, I'll let you challenge my gym. Life's all about give and take. Well, that's the thing. I suppose that's fair, but I guess we'll go find him. I'll go on ahead. All right, well, we gotta find Team Plasma now, as expected. It's time for everybody's part. Time to get another egg, number 62. 62, let's see here. That's 61 and two. Thick ditto. <laughs> thick ditto, all right, let's see what a thick ditto is. It's not regular ditto, it's not skinny ditto, it's thick ditto, and he's got a choice scarf, which to be honest, I may want to throw on my uh, my crook, but let's see here. Thick ditto. <laughs> I'm very nervous. What is this? Ah! Oh! I know what this is gonna be. I know what this is gonna be, and I feel like it's actually gonna be insane. It's gonna be uh, whatever. What's uh, Ditto's ability? Um, it's gonna be the one that it's gonna transform right away. I can't think of it right now. It's on top of my head. It's gonna transform right away and have the highest HP stat in the game. That's what it's gonna do. I know it. Uh, I don't know why it's the, it's not coming to me. I'm gonna see it in a second. Thick Ditto, imposter. That's it. Sheer cold guillotine horn drill self destruct. But it immediately transforms into whatever, and becomes Thick Ditto. That's actually hilarious. I love it, I love it, actually. Imposter, Blissey. So the thing about Ditto, if you guys don't know, Ditto copies when it has Imposter and just in general transforms. It copies the stats of the opposing Pokemon, except for their HP stat. It, and that's kind of the balancing act with Ditto, right? It keeps its HP stat. But Ditto has low HP. Blissey, however, has the highest HP in the game. So, this might actually be kind of insane. Um, might actually be kind of insane. All right, I think we gotta head to the cold storage to deal with uh, Team Plasma, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I gotta battle some trainers too, okay. Level 44 is our cap, I think. Oh, we get an encounter in cold storage too. I kind of forgot about that. And it's a sweat up. And we got him, let's go. At one point, I was actually really worried about how many eggs I was gonna have, and now I feel like we're actually good. Like the beginning of the game doesn't give you a ton, but now we're starting to get a bunch. Ah. A-Drive, do you think Team Plasma can be in there? I don't like cold places, but we gotta check. I guess I'm going in the fridge. I think Team Plasma is in here. Ooh, I don't remember this at all, to be honest. They had the, the world tournament here normally, so. Let's check the inside. All right, are you a trainer? Ooh, metal coats, nice. Oh, is someone in there? Uh, Yeah, let's go in and see what's good. Probably Team Plasma, there they are. Up to no good once again! With one of the sages. All of you huddle around me, I can't take this cold! Zinzolin. Whatever, I can't believe you were really hiding. It's a bother, but if you're cold, shall I show you outside? 
Pokemon are our king's friends. While we are taking care of them, we can't let any harm come to them here. Everyone, drive these intruders away. Zinzolin of the Seven Sages, put them up because we're here. Oh boy, that's a lot of, that's a lot of them. But I should be all right. All right, we just beat them all. That was pretty easy. And here comes Clay and the cold storage workers. Well, I'll be hiding in a chilly old plate like this. You guys take these Pokemon robbers. I saved them. Get them all, baby. Get them out. Peace out, Cub Scouts. You guys ain't so bad. A promise is a promise. Come on and challenge my gym. All right, let's get it. Time to go take on Clay. What is this? This is a Never Melt Ice. Okay. All right, we're going to go deal with Clay now. Oh, snap. Clay, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Gatsis of Team Plasma. I've come to pick up my associates who are in your care. I don't need no thanks now. Your buddies were trying to steal some folks' Pokemon. What's this? It seems as if there's been some misunderstanding. We only free Pokemon from wicked po people. Well, that sounds real nice if it's true. I may not talk purdy, but at least I'm an honest man. You talk real nice, but what you're saying sound of kind, kind of sounds like lying. So tell me plain, what are you trying to say? Team Plasma also has an interest in Driftville City, and we have many, many more members besides those who are here. Well, I can't tell if you're lying or not, but I reckon you've won this without a fight. Huh, <laughs> take them and get. A decision worthy of a business called the Minor King. Your grasp of the situation is outstanding. Well then, we'll be taking our colleagues off with your hands. Off of your hands. Gets this, thank you so much. Don't worry, my fellow servant of the king. We are two of the seven sages, are we not? Well then, everyone, I expect that we will meet somewhere again. Sorry to let Team Plasm go after you track them down, failers. See, why don't we cheer ourselves up with a Pokemon battle? Don't keep me waiting. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not what he would be like. All right, let's throw down against Clay. Uh, I'm not at the level cap, but I'm gonna beat up all the trainers and then we'll probably get there. So I'll see you guys at Clay unless something happens in the meantime, but it should be pretty straightforward. Okay, squad's all up to level 44 and ready to go against Clay. Let's see how this is gonna go. I should actually prepare a double battle strategy. Um, actually I should be preparing for a triple battle strategy every time. Let's put Dust Bobs, Rainbow, Shen John, I think is all really good. Um, that puts like my bulkiest stuff out front, so I think that's good. All right, let's do it. Well, I think it's about time to see for yourself what it's like your skills made a gym leader like Elisa take such a shine to you. All right, Clay, let's see what you got. Yeah. Let's get it. All right, let me know what your favorite ground type Pokemon is. He's got six mons and he just single battle. Hit pout on. Okay. Six mons, guys. Let's get it. Let me know what your favorite ground type is. For me, it's Mamoswine. I love me some Mamoswine, dude. I really do. Cool Pokemon. All right, level 42. He's got Sandstream. I have no way to deal with that, so I just have to deal. Like, it's just there. I'm going to Icy Wind. Um. He could hit me pretty hard with a ground type move. That's a lot of damage. Okay. Let's see what he does. Do I get Stone Edge? Bulldoze. He's gonna turn me into a ground type, which is fine. Does this solid chunk me? But Icy Wind will knock him out on the following turn. So we're actually chilling. Pun intended, Icy Wind kills. Okay, good. I do have to still deal with Sand though. But I get rid of Hip Powder. I think in this gen, Sand is permanent. Like I think it's just, for the rest of the game, there's sand. Here comes a Seismitoad. Now that's a little tricky. I'm a ground type right now as well, so I'm switching. Um, Kind of feel like, I mean, Shenzhen can Aura Sphere. He could have Focus Blast. Dusclops can come in and burn it, but not really any much else. But I might have to just Dust Bops it. And I did just learn Hex as well over Shadow Punch. So let's do that. Let's see what he does. He's gonna muddy water. Okay. So we'll see how much this does. This could drop my accuracy as well. Not a ton. I get sandstorm damage. I get moody. I get an accuracy boost. I lose some speed, but now I hit my Will O Wisp. And he muddy waters again, but I'm gonna hit my Will O Wisp at least. Yeah, that's. And he gets an accuracy drop. I hit the Will O at least. Okay. So this is not actually like a super good exchange for me right now. I get a speed boost and an attack drop. I'm gonna click recover. He's gonna muddy water again. If he crits me, I lose dust bobs here. Nah, he's not critting me. All right, I get recover off. Okay, now I can start hexing, which is good. And I get a special attack boost and evasiveness drop, but now my hex is gonna be insane. My hex is gonna actually be insane. 
He's gonna muddy water again, but like I said, I've got really big damage here with Hex. He gets another accuracy drop. Hex does hit, but I probably sh I'm gonna have to switch. Okay, he actually lives. Kind of a good thing he lives. I get a speed boost and I lose evasiveness. I can recover now. It's good that he lives because I get to recover and he's gonna hyper potion anyway. So it's good that he lived because it gives me a free recover. Okay, Dust Bops, you're doing it. The sand is very annoying. I get the burn off and I get an accuracy increase and a special attack drop. But I'm still stronger than I would have been normally. So my Hex is still a two at KO here. Yep, and he Muddy Waters again. As long as I'm not, I don't have defense boost though. So if something like really strong comes in, I probably have to switch. There's that, and I should be faster still. I get an accuracy buff, and I get a special defense drop. Okay, so I'm gonna get the KO here, but I don't necessarily feel confident staying in on whatever comes in next, um, just to be safe. But let's see. All right, we get Moody. I get an attack boost, and I lose defense. Yeah, my defenses are down. Here comes a Crocodile. Yeah, I'm switching a million percent and hoping this thing does not have Pursuit. Um, what's my play? Crook is actually kind of scary. I think I go Shen John. No Pursuit, that's good. Shen John comes out. Obviously my, my Casey Jones is stronger than this. He crunches, defense drop could be bad. Doesn't get it, that's fine. I get to click Skull to maybe get a burn. He Earthquakes. This is gonna be interesting. So, I think I'm faster because I get speed boost here. But I'm not positive. And I don't get a burn. So this is a, a peculiar situation for me because I don't, like if I'm faster, it's not an issue. But if I'm not faster, I'm actually in trouble. So I think I actually have to go Casey Jones here and hope he goes for crunch. But he could, he could just earthquake. But I think Casey, I, I got, like, I believe I'm faster, but if I'm not, I lose Porygon, and that just feels really dumb. So Sheriff Casey Jones is out here. He goes for Torment. Uh, okay. I just click Earthquake. I just click Earthquake. We just one-shot everything now. Casey Jones is out here. Whew, okay. What else you got for me? Excadrill. Oh, you're bringing out an Excadrill? X, oh, no crits, please. Oh, man, I thought he... Oh, no! Oh, no! I'm out of earthquakes! How am I out of earthquakes? Oh, I lived on seven! Oh! My goodness! How am I out of earthquakes? I don't know what happened. I must. Oh, cause he tormented me and you can't use the same move twice in a row and I'm locked into earthquake. I almost died to struggle. Oh, okay. Um, what am I doing against Marowak though? This thing is very scary. Uh, I mean, obviously, Dust Bobs is an answer, but it's not, is it? I don't have, like, a free switch in here. And I can't... I don't know how this works. If I go for Earthquake, am I okay? I, I think I have to switch and play it safe. Um... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um... I could go Beanie. I can't go Rainbow. I can't go Shenzhen. I could go Flick. Dude, I feel like this thing is gonna be really strong. I don't wanna go Dust Bops. I feel like that's a mistake. This thing is a problem. I'm gonna go Flick. I'm gonna go Flick, because he's at full health. Wow, Torment just almost cost me Casey Jones. I might lose something to this. Stone Edge, miss. <laughs> okay, huge miss. All right, we're clicking Iron Head and flinching him. Iron Head does the same as Cut, so. He earthquakes. Let's see how much this does, because this might do a tremendous amount. Yeah, that's not an answer. Okay. Um, I could go beanie, and then hope that I obviously I, I think I live the earthquake, and then I have to try to one shot him with psychic. I don't know if it's gonna be enough. I think it will be though. Like, I think psychic will, because I'm pretty sure Marowak is higher physical defense than special. He goes for earthquake. 
Let's see how much this does. Okay. With sand, it's a two hit KO. But leftovers cancels it. It's close. I think my play is psychic. This is gonna be really close. I don't know if this KOs. If it doesn't, I might lose Beanie. Okay, we knocked out Marowak. I, I haven't keeping track. Uh, I think there's one left. Two left. Steelix. Okay. Um, I mean, it's not as if I have a switch in, right? So part of me feels like I just click Aura Sphere and hope he doesn't one-shot me. This is so risky, but it, I, I don't really feel confident switching around. He's gonna have Sturdy, and he's gonna probably one-shot me with Earthquake. Coil! Oh, he choked, he choked, he choked, he choked, he choked, he choked, he choked. Wow, he choked so badly. But if I switch there, I actually probably get wrecked. I mean, if I switch there, I go Dust Bops, right? And Dust Bops goes for Will-O-Wisp. If I miss, maybe the Steelix runs my team, but uh, wow. So I get through Clay unscathed again, but boy, oh boy, was that a close one. Whew. My goodness, and we're gonna get our fifth badge today, ladies and gentlemen. Show some love, like the video down below if you guys enjoyed this one, and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Let me know your favorite ground type, and don't forget to head over to Team Shiny and grab the brand new starter shirts available now. Check them out, they're gonna be on the screen, they look amazing, teamshiny.com. Use code Arceus to get 15% off. That's the end of this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one of Pokemon Blaze Black Hardcore Egglock. Peace!